Definitely, if you're gonna have people over, you're gonna wanna have a little nibble for when they come in the door. A cocktail, a drink, and then definitely having some food. So we're gonna take a second and show you how, really quickly, to curate a beautiful cheese plate. And so this is just such a simple thing to do. Really doesn't, it, they're demystifying it, it's just gonna make it so easy. The first things you wanna do is have a soft cheese and a hard cheese. So this is, we have a goat right here, and then we have a hard gouda. So this is beautiful, you can pretty much set this right in the center of the table. And then you're always gonna to wanna to make sure that you have a few different elements. One, you're gonna to wanna to have some dried fruits. You're gonna to wanna to have some fresh fruit. So always grapes are a perfect thing to have. So just resting this on the side over here. I find that crackers, round crackers, tend to be like a little bit, they're hard to line up, so they're a little bit tricky. But what I love to do is use flatbreads because they line up really pretty. They add a, a specific length on to the table. So just, you can just pile these on right here. An assortment of dried fruits, we have figs that you can throw right up in the middle here. Dried cranberries, cranberries are such a great, such a great seasonal fruit for, for the holidays and whether you're stringing them on your Christmas tree or you're actually having them on your, on your cheese plate, this is definitely like a great thing to do. And they add a little bit of tart flavor um, to your whole assortment here. And then lastly, to put a great handful of some dried almonds, or if you have smoked almonds, that's really great. And don't even be afraid to let it fall onto the table a little bit. It shows that it's a little bit more about casual entertaining. And it sort of breaks the plane of the, the squareness of the cheese board. So really right now, I mean, you can double this amount on a larger cheese board, but really to have some of these key elements, I think that this is really beautiful and I think that, um, I love what you've done there, Tony. And How simple. I, I am one of those guys that comes into a party and starts looking for the food right away. So. That's it. Well, you know, you <laughs> got to make sure that when you're entertaining, casual entertaining, cas and casual gifting, but great gifting and thoughtful gifting and thoughtful entertaining is what we're all about at Pottery Barn. Definitely, if you're going to have people over, you're going to want to have a little nibble for when they come in the door. A cocktail, a drink, and then definitely having some food. So we're gonna take a second and show you how, really quickly, to curate 